I want somebody in there who can shake it up, who can change it up, who are not um, after the money and, you know, after people telling them what to say. And I like a man who puts his money where his mouth is and uh, pays for his own thing and he's not in debt to anybody and says, hey, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Um, I think he's uh, the man for the job. He's run a business and I think, you know, so many of these people come in, they've never run a business. Uh, they don't know uh, what they're doing when they get there. Liberty. All right, that was Duck Dynasty's Willie Robertson. That was back in January as he was debating his, do his dad who was supporting Ted Cruz. He was supporting Trump from the beginning. He had to talk about the election results, and his brand new book, by the way, is out. The American Fisherman, How Our Nation's Anglers Founded, uh, Fed, Financed, and Forever Shaped the USA. Willie Robertson, how are you? You didn't sign my book. What's going on? You guys got like a book a week, but they're all good. I like we're this just book. Trying to, we're just trying to keep I want to live you know? your life. I, no, I don't you get, don't. Why not? Look at your hair. <laughs> you know, that's not my life. I spend no time with my hair. You, I mean, hours on Do you comb that. that thing every day? beard. Uh, yeah. I, at, I at, at Christmas time, do you put more white in than you have normally? I, I, it's getting a little whiter. It's, it's getting, getting a little, a little wider, wider since I've seen you last. When Doug Dynasty's gone and over and we move on, I'm going to be one of these Santa mall guys and just uh, that's take what you're pictures gonna be. with kids. I could do that. You could do that? Actually, on the new for... season, uh, Doug Dynasty uh, starts tonight. Um, we uh, one of the episodes we actually throw a little color in it, but it never looks good. When you put color, good. what kind yeah. of color? My kids did it. It was uh, <laughs> purple. Uh, it was black. It was black. It wasn't Too pink. Too much. It just looks. It looks. Did it dumb. look real? It looks dumb. Now your dad was supporting Ted. You were supporting was. Trump from the get go. Right. You uh, ended up being right. Was your dad happy with the results? Yes. Dad is very happy with the results. Right. Uh, yeah, once it got down to basically two people, it was an easy choice for us, and so uh, Phil, Phil got on board. Uh, you know, at but the you dinner know, table, I'd kind of give him the, uh, yeah. I, was, yeah, no, I call right. this, though, the forgotten man election. Like, the people that I would envision, your target audience, right. you know, people that love God, faith, family, country, that's mm -hmm. Doug Dynasty. That's the success. Nobody right. understood the success of your show. I understood it because you connect with real people. Right. But those real people are out of work. On food stamps, too, too many of them. In poverty, too many of them. Um, the American dream, the, the, the rungs to the ladder have been taken away from them. And Trump is saying, we need to get that, those jobs back here. Right. I say that that's Duck Dynasty's audience, that, that Democrats is. and government have, have not been connecting with and serving. Well, if you see the map, the end map, all that red, that's why Duck Dynasty works. That's who watches right. our show. I mean, your biggest, I audi that. your biggest audience isn't in New York and San Francisco and L.A.? Probably not. Although, I've been in New York City. There's a lot of Doug Dynasty people here. Well, you, you I took pictures there. Not many people in camo with long beards like you. Uh, and what happened to your brother Jace when he came to New York? Oh, well, allegedly oh. he got kicked out of Trump's hotel. <laughs> he I got kicked know. out, right? Probably wouldn't now. They thought he was a homeless well, guy. Uh, yeah, I mean, he needs to, we need to go down there now. See did Trump works. ever call him? I may get yelled at. Yeah, they sent a letter and gave us something. So They gave well, you something? Well, they right? give you a tie where that you're never going to wear, a Trump him. tie? I helped him out, so I uh, helped him out in the election. And so we're all good now. Um, how important is it, like, for example, you know, one of the things that Jerry Falwell Jr. said, he's the president of Liberty University, a mutual friend of ours. He said early on, he said, we're not electing a pastor in chief, we're <laughs> electing a commander in chief. There's a difference. Like, you're a pastor. Your dad's a there pastor. Is. I'm not a pastor. You baptize people every day. That doesn't make me a, I'm not a paid pastor. You know, but you're, look at me. I, I'm not the pastor. All right, look at your father. Same thing. But your father... He's not a pastor either. He, took, he said to me he wanted to take me in the back of your house where alligators live yeah. and dunk me in the swamp. Right. And, well, that doesn't make And you baptize a me. The point is, yes, we all have, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. And I think Amen. we saw that. And so we need a president who's... Knows about business, knows about jobs, knows about big numbers, economy. That's what I'm hoping we're going to get. And I think he can work with different people. Yeah. You're not successful in New York unless you can. So as successful as he was, that's what we're banking on. And I got to take him fishing and take you fishing. When's yep. the last time you went fishing? Exactly. I, no, last Christmas. It's time. No. Uh, I went last Christmas. I caught, you're going to read caught, that book. I caught 30 grouper. And you're, well, there you go. There you go. Good it took fish. you that long to go back? 
I work for a living. I'm on the Air Force. You do one season, then you go on six months hiatus, come back, oh, and then A&E &E will go. run it in loops, 24-hour shows. You Duck were... Dynasty, update, 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 no, update. I don't Never stops. Hear it. Uh, when are we going to play golf? We got a big bet. Yeah, we you got say a big you're bet. getting better. I want to see. Okay, who won the basketball bet? I put. Oh, who, come, who I won the basketball you win. bet? It was your show. I wasn't going to embarrass you like that. Who lost the basketball bet? I'm going to. I let you win. You did not let me I let win. You in. We'll settle up Jesus on said not to lie, you know. I'm not lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right.